So I have a secret. I like to travel on airplanes with cheese boards. Don't you? What do I mean? Well, you know, airplane food isn't known for being fantastic, but there is some good food on there every once in a while. And with a little bit of um, pre knowledge of what there is or what you want to bring, you can have a little fancy in-flight meal, even in economy seat. On a lot of flights, you can get a little cheese snack box. Um, it usually has a few crackers and a few pieces of cheese. Uh, the flights that I've been on, they've actually been cheeses and crackers from actually delicious creameries or cheese companies. So they're getting better, but it's kind of boring. There's what I want more. I want more to get me through my five hour flight across the pond. How do we do that? So a little pre-thinking. First of all, there are a few things I like to consider when I am bringing a little, a few extras to make my board. Um, I've got some examples here for you today. Um, a little package of nuts. This is something that I have been really loving. This is soft nougat. Now it is not something that we eat a lot here in the States. You can usually find it at specialty food stores. Um, they have all different flavors. There's another one that they make that has little slices of dried strawberries on it, which is fantastic. They make it in a smaller package too. I didn't have one of those for filming today, but I would probably get the smaller package if I saw it. Um, but I bring this with me because it doesn't need to be cut, but it is really delicious and special. And the only time I ever eat it is on planes with the little cheese boards I make. Over here, we've got a couple examples of some pickles. Um, you can get things like this at your grocery store. Um, this is cherry pistachio granola bites. So we're talking not granola, like put milk in it, but like bites. So that will give you some nuttiness, some chunks. Um, we also have some dark chocolate cherries. Now, who wouldn't that make happy even if there was turbulence? Um, and even just some dried cranberries and blueberries. So look for little packages. Usually you can find these things closer to the registers. They're usually like add-ons or sales, but I'm always looking for little small packages because I can take them on my flight. Now, there aren't restrictions on the airlines for things like this. The only restrictions are you had to carry it. Um, so I like to think small. And things like these pickles are great because, ooh, nuts down, um, because they are made in such a way that there isn't um, a lot of liquid in here. They're moist, they're wet, but there's not liquid. So you can put these in with your little liquid quart size bag if you want to, but there really isn't anything in there. I will warn you, however, if you're somebody who likes to put um, little chocolate candies like M&Ms, um, every time I put M&Ms in my bag, they stop and look at it. I don't know what M&Ms also look like on an x-ray, but just know that you might get stopped depending on what you have, but it's only because it looks funny on the x-ray. They usually pull it out and go, ha ha ha, not dangerous. They're just M&Ms. Um, other things I have, this is a beautiful little chocolate bar. I like that this is in a box because it's less likely to break when I travel with it. If I really wanted to get fancy, I mean, they'll give me napkins there, but I love these. Um, you can find fun stuff like this. These are actually fabric. Um, they're one use fabric um, napkins and you just tear them off but I could take some of those. This, this roll I've had for so many years, but I only need one or two every now and then. So that's just a little fancy tip. Um, and then if you really want, you can just bring a paper plate if you want. You can use whatever they give you. I like to bring, if it's just for me, usually I'm traveling with my significant other and I might pack a bigger board. I would take all of these items. I wouldn't bring all of these. I would probably pick three, maybe four of those items and I'll put them in a little, um, and I, I like to use the sliding bag because it's less likely to open in my suitcase and also gives me a bag for traveling later um, with any like wet items or stuff. It's just a handy thing you can reuse while you're traveling. And you too can be fancy on a plane. So sorry, not sorry, that you might now be thinking, I need to go somewhere on a plane and have a cheese board. Enjoy.